Hey there, horror movie tea sippers. The following podcast episode will contain spoilers for the movie we are about to review. If you have not seen the movie and do not wish to have anything ruined prematurely, please do not continue to watch or listen until you have seen the movie. And welcome to the Horror Movie Tea Podcast. Today, we are covering Spirit Doll. Uh, so as a continuation of Asian Horror Month, and this is a Indonesian yes. film. So we don't really have a whole lot of those, but um, at least the ones that are available for us to view. Um, They've been pretty good. Oh, the ones yeah. That we have yeah, them. yeah. Yeah. But before we go into the review, let's grab our cups and talk about tea. So... Uh, we're doing a repeat. Yes, we're doing a repeat. We're drinking the Plum Deluxe Reading Nook bl Blend Black Tea. It's got <laughs> black tea, rosebuds, lavender, chamomile, and natural flavor. And it has caffeine. This version does, yes. Yes, this version does. This is one of the teas on their website that has a non-caffeinated version. We just got the caffeinated version. <laughs> <laughs> but it is our favorite on their entire website that we've tried so far. Mm -hmm. It is a hog in a cup, and we love it. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. So. Mm. Yep. So, uh, thank you to Plum Deluxe for allowing us to continue to do what we love. And for our tea sippers out there, for yourself a cup of tea, sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy the review. So, the summary of the spirit ball. <sighs> It's an interesting movie because, like, it starts off, so the main character is an actress, and she uh, has a movie that has a doll in it, and um, and that doll... Called Spirit Doll. Yeah, called a Spirit Doll. <laughs> and that Spirit Doll, like comes and causes the death of the daughter and then the actress or main character like ends up like thinking that the doll is actually her daughter uh, but then it's like weird it's like the twist I still am trying to like wrap my brain around where like I don't know if that means that the spirit doll thing was ever a thing because I mentioned like creating like hallucination between her and I think it was also the um, it was the the shaman lady. Mm -hmm. um, I think shaman's the correct term for mm -hmm. for her. Um, but yeah, this movie is interesting. But anyway, so for uh, entertainment, so I'm dancing between a seven point two five and a seven point five because there's some things about the movie I think they did really really well and something that didn't quite hit. I'm probably leaning more towards a seven point five. So I will say like I wasn't expecting them to kill off the daughter, and the fact that they killed her off like that was fucking horrific. Like, my God, it's like, no wonder the mother is, like, so traumatized because, like, not only was she having, like, an argument with the daughter and then that happened and so there's no resolve, but, like, they're also on the stairs with no railing, which I understand artsy-fartsy, but, like, railing when you have a child. Mm -hmm. um, and even railing if you don't. Yeah. Um, and That's then... just liability issues waiting to happen. Yeah, and then, and then the way that... The daughter, it just, it was just terrible. It was like horrific. So, like, I will say this movie's a little bit shocking. Yeah. So, like, it kind of, it got me on board from the beginning uh, because it was really interesting how they were tying in the fact that, um, you know, she was in a movie, she interacted with the spirit doll, and it's like, it's kind of like following her back into her, like, real life. Um, and then the whole, like, this movie just does a really good job ha having different pieces, like the pieces with the spirit doll, the pieces with, like, her, like, mourning the loss of her daughter, um, the drama between her and her ex-husband. Um, like, this movie just has, like, a lot of different elements that really helped keep my interest. 
And it helped, like, have enough on the table where you're like, where is this going? And I did really enjoy the... Or I, I liked the resolve of the movie. Um, I thought that was, like, pretty satisfactory. I also thought it was really interesting that they had the woman... Uh, Nikon, I think is how you pronounce it. But I really like how they had the woman that uh, had that her husband had cheated on her with. They became friends afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then trauma bonding. Yeah, trauma bonding. Um, But I honestly thought that that was kind of sweet in a lot of Mm -hmm. ways, especially when they like both teamed up against the the one crazy lady. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's the, the huge plot twist that it was her plan all along type of thing. Yeah. Um. But no, it's like, it's it's hard to put into words this movie. But I w- it is a movie that I feel like I haven't really heard a lot about. It's fallen under the radar, but mm-hmm. it was like legitimately a, a pretty good movie. Um, you know, not just like, oh, you know, Asian Horror Month, but just like in general. Like this yeah. is a, a movie that I would uh, go back to For sure. and watch. Um, Because it it just has so many different elements. It has the supernatural elements. It has, like, the emotional um, elements. (laughs) Um, And some of the scares... Like, it it did a good job of it. I feel like it could have done a little better in that regard. Yeah, the the scares weren't terrible, but they weren't great. Yeah. Um, Really, the creepiest one that I thought was the hairdresser doing the the doll. Mm Mm-hmm. And then he turns and it's just like a dead girl's face yeah. looking at him. And then he thought that his thumb got bitten off, which was like a horrific scene. Yeah. And then he looks and his thumb's fine. Like, oh, man, could you imagine? I'm out. I'm like, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Um, but I, I thought it was really interesting to seeing like what the actress is seeing or the main character is seeing versus like what other people are seeing and that was really the most unnerving part of the the movie and then some of the kills like oh man dying in the sauna that would fucking suck (laughs) like yeah some of the deaths were pretty pretty brutal yeah (laughs) um but really kind of like my biggest want and this could honestly be just like cultural gaps of me not completely understanding like indonesian culture like what um like what the religions like things like that but i kind of wish that they had expanded on the lore of the spirit doll like a little bit more Mm -hmm. but you know obviously they're making the movie with a particular audience in mind and we we weren't that audience yeah um so it it could be just a, a complete like naivety in in regards to that um so if you go into this movie then maybe i would look into like um indonesian culture into like the religion um maybe to kind of like flesh out a little bit more and kind of have a a a solid starting point but Mm -hmm. no this is definitely a good movie and i i recommend it for sure definitely um i give it a 6.5 it's one that i'll probably like as good as it was when i was watching it i'll probably forget about it in a month or two (laughs) It's going to be one where I'll come across it later and be like, oh, yeah, that movie. Let's watch that. Right. That was good. Yeah. But it's not going to be a go-to for me. Um, and there were some times that I felt like it dragged just a little. And they tried to do too many things with it. I feel like if they had just stuck with just one thing. <laughs> it's like, I feel like if they stuck with one thing, it'd make it a little too slow. But maybe, but at the same done, time, I understand what you're yeah, saying. Where there was a lot a going bit on and yeah. had a bit more scared because again, I feel like it fell a little bit short in that regard on some things. There were some unnerving scenes, like the hairdresser scene, for sure. But on the whole, it was just kind of eh with the scares. So I did appreciate the twist with the chick. Yeah, that was interesting. I was not expecting that yeah. twist. But I feel like they they could have just like picked a lane <laughs> instead of trying yeah. to do two or three different things all at once. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Um, the acting was really good. Um, I liked the interaction between all of the different characters. 
you can feel the heartbreak. Oh, yeah. Like, sometimes it was, like, almost painful to watch. From the dad and the mom. Yeah, yeah. I felt that heartbreak. It was just awful. I had to stop the movie at one point and hug Alice. (laughs) Yeah, I... Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely not. (laughs) Yeah. Um, There definitely should have been a railing. (laughs) I don't understand why she wasn't, like running down there and trying to check her, try to help her. I know. She just kind of sat there and immediately, like, crumbled. Yeah. But it's like, call 911. Call, you know. She was still breathing. And, yeah. Like, do something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Um, People handle. And everybody's different. Yeah, they react to situations like so, that differently. Like, I'm sure part of it was shock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. But it just... You know. Yeah. No, I, I get that, too. That was a thought that came across my mind, too. But afterwards, just, like, how she wouldn't eat and she wouldn't leave her room for a few days, I completely understand that. I would probably be like that, too. I would be just catatonic, basically. And beside myself with grief. Um, and the fact that she tried to unalive herself, too. I completely understand that reaction as well. I didn't um, feel that in the realism. <laughs> <laughs> but it just, it makes the movie feel more, it hits more. Yes, yes. And it yeah. really affects the entertainment. Because when you're drawn that into yes. it and understand it that much, it really does affect it. And that's why, like, I really didn't mm-hmm. mind the fact that it wasn't that scary. Because yeah. it really dove deeper, really, into the, the heartbreak, the tragedy. The emotion of it, yes. Of what was going mm-hmm. on. And the fact that this entity was taking advantage of mm-hmm. it. And Absolutely. so it, that was the true horror. It wasn't the fact that, like, the doll, like, the mother was seeing and it saw thought it was her daughter and all of these deaths and creepy things that are happening is like no the true tragedy was the fact that this entity was taking advantage of her loss yes yes so yeah that's that's what i got for the most part with entertainment there there were like i said just a couple of unnerving scenes oh and the the scene with the little girl when the entity is in her room and she mm. throws her comforter on it. Yeah, that wasn't okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. I'm gone. Bye. Yeah, that <laughs> no, was pretty freaky. You. Yeah. Yeah, that was well done. Um, but again, the the other scares are just kind of so so. It. I feel like they went too hard with that, and that was super creepy. And I was expecting that level of creep. Mm. For most of the movie, and we just didn't really get that, and it was a little disappointing. <laughs> See, since so many other movies have done that same type of scare, I was just like, oh, that's really creepy, but it's been done before. And so I kind of, like, brushed it off. Yeah, but it's still creepy when <laughs> no, it, it is. No, it is creepy, yeah. And I was expecting, like, that level mm-hmm. throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Like, if you, if you lead with that, basically... And you don't continue that kind of stuff, then you've kind of just peaked way too early. And don't, like, don't show your hand that early if that's going to be your main. Yeah, and the the (laughs) demon or whatever you would consider the entity wasn't that scary, but like the 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 form of it and stuff. I like I said, we're naive to that. So I don't know mm-hmm. if it was yeah. actually like based off of something. Yeah. Um so like if I was a part of that culture or I understood that culture more than it maybe might it make would be more, more sense and it more might scary be different. And, yeah. 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 For sure. But that's what I got for entertainment. So. Yeah. Realism's tough. Like on the one hand, I can see like the the relationship between the mistress and the ex-wife, that's obviously, like, I mean, I can understand God. why the mistress 100% would have wanted to go to the funeral, but, like, I can mm-hmm. also 100% agree with, like, the ex-wife's, like, like she's not going to be at my I daughter's can funeral. definitely see both sides, but at yeah. the same time, like, she is officially a stepmom, yeah. and she has been treating the daughter as when she own. was over yeah. there she was treating her as her own yeah and was kind to her and all wasn't trying to like disparage the other 
woman or anything, wasn't trying to turn her against her mom or anything like that. She was just welcoming her. Yeah. So I get that the circumstances around them getting together suck yeah. and it's horrible. But, but she needs her she closure a, too. Yeah, she needs her closure too. That was her stepdaughter. I she think she genuinely family. cared for her she too. Did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything yeah. that we had seen showed that she did actually genuinely yeah. care for her. Yeah. So. Um, and then the whole like weird like obsession that the I don't know assistant secretary what whatever she was it was the assistant yeah um <laughs> like with the father and yeah. trying to break them up to have him like land with her yeah. and then him not even go with her <laughs> like, oh man but it's like you Carla. hear about shit like but, that yeah, all, all the, the time. time yeah all the time it yeah is the yeah mm-hmm. um so I can see that and I mean. Oh man, this movie's tough. I okay. I'm gonna just I'm gonna rate it like a three, because uh, it's it's really like the reactions and the circumstances that seem to be like more realistic. I that's fair. I know, like yeah. especially with her being an actress and probably having a decent amount of money, that mm-hmm. she would have like a nice house and it will potentially be artsy and not have railing. I it depends on the parent because some parents are like well you know my kids will behave like I don't have to worry about that but it's like you're just asking for something to happen and the fact that she happened to have a sculpture that had that was pointy seriously like why tempt fate yeah yeah so and I'm not going to mark off how the how the daughter just so happened to fell fall on that sculpture because it was an entity that was influencing her falling so it's like okay yeah the entity might have been like okay if i pull her here then she's you know um so that i'm not really going to like mark off for but um but and then the mother like a hundred percent going hard into believing that the doll was her daughter and she's taking care of it like i can't a hundred percent see that happening only too. thing keeping her psyche together yeah yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, and I will say, I really appreciated the fact that they showed how hurt the father was, yes. too. Like, thank yes. you for showing that, thank too, you. and he not making it just devastated. about the mother. Yes. Yeah. And the fact that, like, you know, he was lashing out and mm-hmm. blaming her. And obviously, that didn't help the mother's, like, you know, dealing with the, the loss. But I could 100% that, you know, they already are tense with each other. Well, he wasn't just lashing out at his ex-wife either. He was lashing out at his current wife. Yeah, that's true. He was lashing out at a whole bunch of people. Yeah, yeah. So he was obviously very upset, very torn, Mm -hmm. and didn't really know how to channel those emotions. Um, So... Yeah, I really appreciated Mm -hmm. um, them showing that. Um, Honestly, I wish a lot more movies would would show that side, too. That it's not just the mothers who suffer through it. It's the dads, too. Yeah. Like, it's devastating for both. Yeah. Um, But that's that's all I got for realism. Like, I I can definitely see, like, the mistress or stepmom, I should say. Um, and the, the ex-wife, like, <laughs> trauma bonding with each other. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was really sweet that the, um, the main character was like, oh, you had a baby, like, we'll, we'll raise them up together. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I, I thought that was a good way to, you know, give both of them some closure, mm-hmm. um, and wrap up the movie really nicely. So, but that's what I got. Yeah. So that was that was fair. I personally give it a 2.5 for realism. It just wasn't quite there with some other aspects of it, yeah. but but yeah, the the reactions and the interactions were great. Um I really do also like how they Yeah, it's very, the it's very strong. Yeah, yeah. The dad's reaction as well and him lashing out and trying to process it in a different way. That he just wanted some piece of her with him. That's why he went and got her favorite doll mm-hmm. from the mom. Um, and he was talking to it and apologizing to it. That just... Yeah. 
That hurt. <laughs> this movie hit so different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, I was I was half expecting you to be like, can we pick a different movie? <laughs> I considered it, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's a it's a tough movie. It it is a tough one for sure, and it pulls out your heartstrings. It really does. the The extreme, or some people would call extreme reaction that the mom had of not eating, not leaving her room, and attempting to unalive herself at the end of that three days, like after losing her daughter completely believable and understandable well especially how her daughter died yes. like and then the fact that she like saw it like yes oh, that's just i couldn't imagine like, no parent should have to bury their child yeah they just shouldn't it sucks having to bury your parents too and grandparents and all but it, it just hits different there's no word for it either. Yeah. There's no word for it. There's a word for when you lose your spouse. There's a word for when you lose your parents. But there's no word for a parent that has lost a child. So this movie really hits. <laughs> yeah. It does. It just tears out your heart. And stomps on it. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I think that the resolve that they created yes. was just extra important. Yes. Because otherwise you're like, well, now I'm just depressed. Yeah. <laughs> At least there's some I'm just hurt. lingering hope. <laughs> lingering I'm just, hope. I'm just hurt. <laughs> um, I don't understand how the... I know they gave her a, a hallucinogen at one point. The... The shaman that the secretary assistant lady went to yeah. and got on her side and all, but, like, how did it continue to work? Yeah, it's like, how long does it work for? Like, how, like, what does it Unless do exactly? Unless her mind just latched onto it and she continued, but that, I don't, I don't know. It just seemed a little odd. Um... From my understanding, from what I gathered, it sounds like they were just using the hallucinogen to, like, give her an attachment to the doll, and then the entity kind of did the rest in, like, I keeping her attached. Guess. But yeah, it was, it was a little bit questionable. Yeah. It, it just seemed a little weird. Um, and it looked like they went there to, like, pick a doll, but they could have gone ahead and picked that one doll. Instead of yeah. trying to tie it to basically a voodoo type. Yeah. I, honestly, that scene was kind of unnecessary. Like, they could have just done it to where, like, they skip right to the scene where yeah. the spirit doll, like, showed up. Yes. Yeah. Seemed a little unnecessary if it was already going to go that direction. Yeah. Um. And then they show her with that same doll again. <laughs> After she leaves the hospital room with the other chick. So, like, it's not fully over. So it's not fully resolved. So I mm. felt a little... Mm, a little less satisfying for me at the end. Personally. But wait, but the, but the doll had burned in the house. But they showed her with it. Oh man, did I, like, block that from my mind? Okay. Anyways. It wasn't over. Um... <laughs> So, I I don't know. It just mm, pretty sure they showed her with it, unless my mind just substituted that doll for something else. I don't know. I just remember it not being quite as satisfying an ending. The housekeeper lady. Why did she stay as long as she did? She ended up dead. <laughs> like she knew there were so many red flags. There were so many red flags. <laughs> See, I I felt like she was just staying for the the mother. Yeah, like but trying to be her support. A, there's a point where you're like, yeah, nah, sweetie, you need to get some help, and um, I'm gonna take some time. 
because I'm feeling in danger. <laughs> and, uh, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> and uh, it's not going to be a good situation for me if I stay. So, I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel yeah. like she did stay a little too long. And there weren't enough people being like, okay, I understand that you're working through some stuff and this doll is helping you, but it's a little much. Like, it's become an obsession and that's not healthy either. <laughs> so like, Yeah, I feel like there would have should have been like more people oh, yeah. like coming to her, but I feel like especially when you don't know someone that well or you're not that close to them, it's hard to be like like to confront them like that. Yeah. And I mean that she did get confronted, but and I mean we see how she reacted. She <sighs> she didn't react to that very well. Yeah. Um but yeah. But yeah, it's like I I would recommend the movie, mm-hmm. but I will say just be prepared. It is um, a little tough. Um, yeah, we probably should have had a trigger warning. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. But yeah, so thank you for joining us today and let us know what you thought of the movie. If you'd like to recommend a movie game or tea, you can leave us a comment or join our Discord. And if you'd like to keep up to date with our content, you can find our link tree listed below. And if you'd like to support us monetarily, we have a Teespring and PayPal, or we have our affiliate link with Plum Deluxe available. It does not affect the price of the tea, it just allows us to continue to do what we love. And you can find all of the sites mentioned linked below. But until the next time, guys, stay safe and stay spoopy. Bye! Bye.